So you see how the seat rocks? In order to stop it from rocking, we can take this handle and we can push it all the way back. It'll walk in and now it'll make it a bit easier for you to put the child in. Yes. Now to adjust the straps on here, there's a little button right there. You can push that button down, grab these belts from the top towards you and pull it up. If you pull one side, the other, other side will have the slack. You just need to gently pull it up or you can pull them up. Uh, both okay. together. Whatever you do, don't hold on to this strap because if you hold on to this strap, those won't move. Those won't move. So loosen okay. it up, and then we're going to unbuckle, unclip, yeah. and then on here there's a bunch of padding. So these they go all the way back by the child's neck. Okay. So when you tighten the belt, it doesn't rub into their neck. Then we're going to slide this up slide this up a little bit, and then just drape it off to the side. That's how I like to do it on this peg though. Is we could slide, we don't even have to slide that up as much. You can even tuck it in, tuck it in there. Mm -hmm. But I like to also slide this up. And the reason being is because when you put the child in, it makes the slack near their hips more visible. So you don't forget to pull that out and tighten it. Okay. Yeah. Now we'll put Maybe the baby. Put her in there. Yeah. So now it gives you a nice opening. So we'll put the baby in. It's like an eight pounder. Uh, maybe around seven. Okay. Yeah. So we'll put them in. And the first thing we check is the shoulder hip. So this belt where it's coming out of mm -hmm. should be right at the child's shoulder or slightly below the shoulder. Okay. So for here, this child it looks fairly well. I think that should be fine. And then we're going to put this over their shoulder. And I like to start buckling, start with buckling this one up first, just simply because otherwise, sometimes this buckle will fall down. If it falls down, you got to be more careful as you're lifting it that you don't accidentally twist like, it. Because okay. you want to keep these straps straight, right? So that's why instead of buckling the chest clip up first, I like to buckle this one up first. That's why. Put that over, put that over, buckle. It's all buckled up. Now, sometimes these will slide back down, so we'll push that Make all sure the way it's back. Like on their, around yeah, their just neck. around their neck. And then you're ready to tighten these. So when you're tightening this, you're just pulling on this strap and you'll notice it tightens from the top. But see how there's all that slack and that's not good. So we want to tighten that part up. So we're just going to go like that. So pull that from here, pull that. Now all that extra slack is here. Mm -hmm. So we'll just slide the chest clip down a bit as we're pulling that up. Or you can pull like that, like that, however you like to do it. And then you're Gonna tighten yeah. some more. Okay. Wiggle. Wait, there's still some slack. I need some more. Slide that down. You just want to make gently do that in little steps. Okay, so now it's tight, but this chest clip is not at their armpit level. You see how it's much lower? Mm -hmm. You want this chest clip to be right at the armpit level. Okay. So to, to slide it up, you can just just shimmy it up. Just okay. shimmy it up. And sometimes they're cold, especially with this doll, because we've used it many times. Their clothes are kind of stretched out, so we just kind of pull off their clothing off to the side. And now if I look at that, if I stick my finger perpendicular to the child, that should be at armpit level. Still a slight bit lower. Mm -hmm. So we'll just shimmy that up a slight bit more. And now it's at armpit level. Perfect. Now, how tight do you want this? You, these harness straps on the child. You want these straps to be as tight as possible, but it shouldn't push the child into an unnatural position. Okay. If it pushes a child into an unnatural position, then you want to loosen it a bit. That, that's not good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. One of the ways to check, though, is if you open this up and you take your fingers up and down and you try to pinch a fold and hold on to it. So it's kind of go like that. You shouldn't be able to pinch a fold and hold on to it. If you yeah, can, it shouldn't like bunch. Yeah. Yeah. If you can, it's too loose. Mm -hmm. 
Another way is right here by the child's collarbone, if you kind of put your finger underneath, you should feel some pressure from the belt onto your finger. If you don't feel any pressure from, on, from the belt onto your finger, you can even wiggle your finger around, mm -hmm. that's too much. Okay. Now, as the child grows, once the child's body, so we're loosen, you take this child out, but once the child's body fits in here, or is starting to get tight in here, the seat comes with multi-stage cushions. So you have stage one, mm -hmm. and you have underneath here, sorry, it says right there, stage two. Okay. So stage one is used for about eight pounds. Mm -hmm. um, it's like newborn, basically, newborns, yeah. Right? Or until like, they can fit in here well, like their butt and occupies, goes in, yeah, yeah, and okay. takes up the space. Now, once you take that cushion off and you put the child in, you may notice that because you took that cushion off, that hole now, see how that, that slot now is higher than your shoulder? Mm -hmm. So you need to always adjust that slot. To make sure, okay. Can you you need to adjust that slot. It's actually on the back of the seat. So we're gonna make sure they're open. And in here, actually, move this up so you can see better. See that little mm -hmm. wave button? You push that, it can move it up. Okay. You can move it up. Or down. Okay. As the child grows. Now, once you move it up, Okay, so it goes higher and higher to higher accommodate and higher. the growing. Okay. And that will move your headrest up all the way up to here. And there. And this slots all the way here. Now, once you once you get here to this height, mm -hmm. if you're still using the stage two cushion mm -hmm. and you want to carry on using the seat, you would need to take the stage two cushion off. And when you take the stage two cushion off, you just pull it right out. Yeah. And that will give the seat a lot, lot Even more. more. Okay. Right. Perfect. Yes. So we'll put them all back in, and then you can try it. 